Hello Audacious Church, uh, my name is Hazel Kirkland and I am part of the Audacious South location and today I'd like to share from Luke 24 um, verse 30 to 32. 30. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognised him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? So some of you will recognize that this, Luke 24, is the story of after Jesus was um, killed on the cross. Um, this is two of his followers who were walking on the road to Emmaus. And while they were walking on the road, they were joined by a stranger. Now, the Bible describes uh, the two followers of Jesus as downcast. I imagine that they were in grief that um, they were feeling a hopelessness, that they were um, disappointed. Um, they had seen Jesus as the Messiah, the one who was going to rescue them, who had taught them how to pray, who'd loved them and who they loved. And so this grief was very real and very raw as they were walking along this road. And the stranger walking with them um, began to speak scripture to them um, as he questioned why they were downcast. Um, and then as they got to Emmaus, uh, they came to the house and the stranger began to break bread. And then we come to verse 30 um, to 32. And uh, while he broke the bread and had communion with them and spoke the scripture to them, the two followers of Jesus had their eyes opened and they realized that the Messiah, their Jesus, was sat there with them. And they must have been absolutely elated and over the moon. And then Jesus disappeared and they ran back along the road um, to tell the disciples the great news that Jesus was alive and that they had just had communion with him and he'd just spoken to them and uh, that must have been just such an amazing and joyous occasion and Jesus again appeared to the disciples and later on in the chapter it talks about when Jesus ascended back to heaven so he was leaving again but this time the disciples and the, his followers were all on their knees worshiping God at the time. And just such a lovely contrast of this terrible time on the road to Emmaus where they were in deep despair and grief and didn't recognize Jesus walking with them. Um, and then back here when Jesus leaves again, and yet this time they were in a place of worship, they had found their passion again, they'd found their love again and their worship for God. And so my, um, question today is when was the last time you could say my heart was burning within me with passion for Jesus and maybe for a little while um, these last difficult times that you have felt downcast uh, maybe hopeless maybe in grief maybe afraid and maybe just disappointed um, and I just want to encourage you to go back to those first times that you felt your heart burning for Jesus. Perhaps it was in a, a message that you heard that God spoke directly into your heart. Perhaps it was in a time of worship where his presence was very real. Um, maybe it was some words that were spoken over, over you um, and where Jesus was telling you what his mission in life and what he was calling you to, what your purpose was. Um, I encourage you to go back there and go again and um, I just want to encourage you to give that um, opportunity for your heart to burn again for Jesus. Even if you don't think he's walking with you, he is there. So I encourage you to read this whole chapter, Luke 24. It's a great chapter and um, just have a great day. Thank you.